Tommy, a draw, do you think that's a fair reflection on the game? Um, both teams might lay claim to that. I thought we probably created more chances over the 90 odd minutes. Um, certainly the more um, attack minded team in the first half, I thought we were well on top and I thought we deserved to go in. Uh, one look. The disappointment is that we've, we've conceded from a set play and everybody has a job, so somebody hasn't done theirs. Everybody will moan again because Jordy's made a fantastic save and I want to know where the next man is to defend the second ball and he's had to be the one that's come out of his goal to confront the second strike and unfortunately it's gone in the goal but look, we had enough chances to win three or four games I felt. Their goal he's made far more saves than ours. Um, and listen, let's not forget, these are second top in the league, they're a good outfit and Andy's got them well, well drilled. Um, so I've got to be pleased. We want. I said to the lads before the game, quite frankly, I wasn't really too interested in what the result was going to be. I wanted a performance, um, and I thought the lads would give me that. You've said in the past couple of post-match interviews you wanted improvement. Did you see that tonight? Yeah, I mean, look, it's no secret. We're better with the ball than we are without it. It's simple, you know, but that's not just the 11 players that started it. It's 11 players that started on Saturday, the ones who started the Saturday the week before, and the ones who started at West Brom. We've got really good technical footballers here, and if they keep listening to me and my staff and working on the things that they're not good at rather than just the things they're good at, then they've got a chance of progressing themselves and us as a group. So I'm frustrated, as you probably can tell, because we've we've gone in front again and we've not managed to not, not hold on because we haven't had to hold on. We've had They've had little spells where you'd expect them to have when they made their changes. But I thought we've handled a very, very potent front line really well. We've dominated uh, midfield for long spells and we've made really good chances. So, other than scoring more goals, I've, I've got to be happy. We saw Dayan back in the start in 11, and obviously Josh Barrett made his debut off the bench. You, you, we, we're getting those options back, and squad yeah. depth is coming back, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I look, I kept the youngsters around for quite a long time because of the FA Cup run. I think this is a, the time of the season where we need to refresh. Um, there will be another one coming in. Um, and I just think, you know, you, your team is only as strong as your bench, really. And when you think about it, I look around and all five lads don't weaken the team at all. So I say I said it on uh, Saturday, two of, the, two of the best performers on Saturday were on my bench today. Not because they didn't play well, they were excellent on Saturday, but physically they needed to have a rest and it'll be somebody else getting, it, getting that tug on Saturday because just the, the sheer load that we have and the history of the players that we have at this football club, people like Dejan and Stuart haven't had a lot of football. People moan when I take people off or when I don't take people off, but sometimes it's, it's for their own benefit. We obviously talked about Bromley's quality, we know their position in the table, so a point against a side like that is a good result, isn't it? Oh, hugely. I mean, over the two games, we've got four points from Bromley. You know, and that, that's what makes disappoint, disappointing reading when you look at our last two performances. But they, like, they're gone, as this is, this is gone now, and we're, you know, we're fully focused on Rochdale now. So, you know, we, I know the lads at home will endeavour to, to do more in terms of the way we play the game. Away from home, sometimes it's different. Um, you've got to adapt a little bit more, the, the surroundings, the pitch, the crowd, everything like that. But so far, so good this season in terms of 95% of the times, I think the performance as well as the results have been correct here at the ABB. Tonight, if I'm being really totally honest, I think we probably just deserve to, to edge it. Yeah, there was a few good chances at the end, wasn't it? We really yeah. could have got that win at the end, but hey, it wasn't to be and we move on to Saturday. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, for me, uh, there's one decision I just can't fathom because it's either a goal kick or it's a penalty. It's not a corner because Ryan Glover's run into the box with the ball at his feet. Their lad's gone underneath him. The ball's gone out without anybody touching it. So it's either a foul or it's a goal kick. And to give a corner there, I just... I find that one, it's a cop-out. You know, it's given us something, but not what I felt was deserved. And right at the last minute there again, you know, Tyler Frost ran in the box, ball at his feet, and then ends up on the deck. And I'm not sure why he's ended up on the deck, other than the fact the guy tackled him and didn't get the ball. So, yeah, a couple of frustrating things, but their goalkeeper's made a hell of a lot of good saves. Everybody will think Kwame missed that. That was a great tackle and save by the boy Kirk and the goalkeeper, and their goalkeeper deserves a huge pat on the back.